We're about uh, 20 minutes away from the main event of the day for Wall Street, uh, the chairman's speech. Uh, the minutes suggest we're locked in for a rate increase in September, probably in December as well. Do you expect the chairman to give us any guidance uh, to the contrary? I'm not going to comment on what the chairman's going to say. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let his speech stand on its own. I've, uh, I've said I, I think we ought to be moving toward neutral, uh, which means three or four increases over the next nine to 12 months. And I think uh, at this point, moving in September and December is consistent with that path. So that, that would be my own view. But I think uh, everyone around the table uh, should express their views independently, including the chair, <laughs> and I know he will. Well, th one of the arguments around the table is that inflation is roughly at your target, yeah. but it's not moving up very fast. I mean, you've been advocating continuing with the path that you're on. Yeah. Uh, but why do you need to do that if inflation's not breaking up? So uh, our measure at the Dallas Fed is the trim mean, which is a core inflation measure, uh, X's out, extreme moves to the upside and downside. And we see that getting to 2% uh, by the end of this year and even strengthening beyond there. And here's, here's what's going on. There's two conflicting factors. One is the cyclical factors. We've got a very tight labor market. We have higher input costs. Some of it's due to tariffs, maybe transitory factors. But there's no question the cyclical factors are pushing prices uh, upward uh, and, and having inflation. There are structural factors going the other way, globalization, automation, you know, people being replaced by technology. And so my own view is inflation is going to keep moving up because the cyclical factors are very strong. I don't think it's going to run away from us. But I think what the balance we're trying to tread at the, at the Fed and what I'm trying to tread is you want to move gradually. You don't want to move so slowly that inflation uh, and these cyclical forces get ahead of themselves and get ahead of us and we have to play catch up, in which case we'd have to raise rates more quickly. And I think that typically leads to bad outcomes, uh, in particular a recession. So what we're trying to do is raise gradually and, and, and that's the reason why I've been advocating let's keep moving. The other reason I'm advocating let's keep moving, we're meeting our dual mandate objectives. We're meeting our full employment objective. As you said, inflation's around 2%. Uh, in that context, we should we shouldn't be a we don't need to be accommodative. We should be moving to a neutral stance, and neutral would mean uh, for me three or four increases to get to somewhere in the neighborhood uh, plus or minus of two and a half to two and three quarters percent, maybe a little bit more. And that's the primary reason why I've been advocating we should keep gradually uh, raising the Fed funds rate.